We can assess DDH in a transverse plane as well as coronal. The first image is usually a neutral image with the hip out straight, looking for the triradiate cartilage, which was the green arrow, and ensuring that the femoral head looks centered over that cartilage. So you've got ischium to the right, pubis to the left, which is anterior. The second view is a transverse flex tip. So we now see femoral metaphysis or the shaft on the left and the ischium on the right. We then add abduction to widen and deepen the acetabulum and that should pull any dislocated head back into its socket. Then by narrowing the joint in adduction, we can assess for a hip that subluxates out. So we're looking at the depth of the acetabulum on adduction and how far that femoral head is from the medial acetabulum. Particularly if we now add Barlow stress maneuver pushing backwards on the adducted knee, we're looking for slippage of the femoral head backwards over the ischium right of screen or away from the medial acetabulum.